हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द साइटोप्लाज्मिक इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ कैपा पार्टिकल्स इन पैरामीशियम सॉन बर्न नाइनटीन थर्टी एट ऑब्जर्व टू स्ट्रेन ऑफ पैरामीशियम और एलाई अ कॉमन प्रोटोजोअन वाइल वर्किंग ही ऑब्जर्व इन अ कॉलोनी दैट फ्यू पैरामीशियम डाई अवे वाइल ओनली फ्यू कैन सर्वाइव इन अ कॉलोनी सो द ओनली सर्वाइवर्स ही कॉल्ड द किलर स्ट्रेन्स एंड दोज विच डाई अवे ही कॉल्ड दैम as sensitive strain he found that these killer strains are actually having endosymbiotic bacteria cedobacter tineo spiralis denoted as kappa particles this kappa term is used for the endobiotic bacteria symbiotic bacteria living in the cytoplasm of the paramecium aureli in killer strain these were absent in sensitive strain This bacteria or kappa particle is actually producing a paramecin named lethal toxin which was actually killing the sensitive strains. This paramecin is lacking in the sensitive strains. The toxin paramecin is a refractile protein our body and is produced by the bacteria or the kappa particle whereas in sensitive strain due to the absence of these kappa particles no r bodies were produced he found that the genotype of killer paramecium is actually k k where k is a dominant gene which actually harbors the bacterial colony in the cytoplasm whereas the genotype of sensitive strain is a recessive gene small k small k which is not able to harbor the symbiotic bacterial colony in its cytoplasm it means that the existence production proliferation and maintenance of kappa particles is controlled by a dominant gene k present in the nucleus now the phenomena of cytoplasmic inheritance can be explained by the two cases observed by sonberg in the one case where he found that a killer strain which is homozygous k positive positive and k positive when mates with a sensitive strain having recessive genes small k small k homozygous they come close to each other and conjugate they lie side by side and this time the pellicle and the cell membrane dissolves an exchange of nuclear genes takes place this k is exchanged over here and this small k is exchanged over here after few seconds when these two paramecium they separate now they are called x conjugates after recombination the x conjugates become heterozygous k from this parent and small k from this parent now we get a colony of heterozygous strains heterozygous paramecium this paramecium will give rise to a heterozygous paramecium which is having kappa particles this pink color shows the kappa particle presence of kappa particles in killer cells now on mitosis or binary fission the following individual will form always the killer progeny while the x conjugate in which there is no kappa particles which is shown by a white color cytoplasm will produce a sensitive progeny further after binary fission in second case when he saw the mating of a killer homozygous paramecium with a sensitive homozygous paramecium they come close and cytoplasmic bridge is formed the pellicle and cell cell membranes dissolve exchange of nuclear gene take place k comes here and small k comes here along with this this these kappa particles also get exchanged means from this paramecium these kappa particles are transferred to the sensitive paramecium and form this paramecium convert this paramecium into a killer paramecium so in this way you can observe that while conjugation this conjugation is taking a long time and while conjugation 
थ्रू साइटोप्लाज्मिक ब्रेज द साइटोप्लाज्म इज कैरीड टू द सेंसिटिव पैरामीशियम एंड हैंस द कैपा पार्टिकल्स आर आल्सो ट्रांसफर्ड टू द सेंसिटिव पैरामीशियम नाउ आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग और प्रोलॉन्ग्ड कंजुगेशन व्हेन दे सेपरेट नाउ वी गेट टू टाइप्स ऑफ एक्स कॉन्जुगेंट्स दिस वन आल्सो एक्वायर्ड द कैपा पार्टिकल्स एंड नाउ वी गेट टू हेट्रोजाइगस किलर पैरामीशियम दीज टू पैरामीशियम फर्दर वैन डिवाइड बाई बाइनरी फिजन दे प्रोड्यूस ऑल द हेट्रोजाइगस इंडिविजुअल्स एंड ऑल विल बी किलर्स सो ही ऑब्जर्व दैट इन फर्स्ट केस वैन द कॉन्जुगेशन वॉज शॉर्ट वॉज फॉर अ शॉर्ट टाइम नो साइटोप्लाज्मिक एक्सचेंज टूक प्लेस वाइल इन द अदर सेकेंड कंडीशन द द कॉन्जुगेशन वॉज प्रोलॉन्ग्ड and hence cytoplasm from killer cell transferred to the sensitive cell and made it killer type now he concluded that the progeny of a sensitive strain becomes a killer only when conjugation prolongs and cytoplasmic exchange happens means kappa particles are transferred from killer to sensitive individuals while for a short duration conjugation cytoplasmic exchange does not take place hence one becomes killer and other remains sensitive this shows that the cytoplasmic inheritance of kappa particles is actually due to the exchange of cytoplasm from killer to the sensitive one and this is the cytoplasmic inheritance of endosymbiotic particles or kappa particles in paramecium thanks